hey guys and welcome back to another video hope you are okay on that side of the screen and here we are again in 2021 with the fastest ssd available on the planet right now and yes it is this one right over here the sabrent rocket yeah, let's focus right over here the sabrent rocket for plus one of the newest uh, ssds available from sabrent and it's not clickbait as usual i don't know how to do that it is the fastest ssd available uh, claiming seven gigs of data written and read uh, out of one of these devices and just to share with you here it is on screen on the windows machine that uh, by the way it has the 11th generation cpu from intel it has a motherboard that supports pcie 4.0 so we get incredible speeds now on the site it states and i will leave links down below so that you guys can check it out 7100 megabytes per second i was only able only to reach 6982 megabytes on reads and 6500 on writes but it's just amazing now uh, i want to share with you a few more details and there are two curious things that i want to share uh, when you are searching for SSDs on the market, which I do believe that it's important on any brand, not only on Sabrent. So after the speed test, I will go through that. I will show you a few uh, images right over here that I've got on the website and I will leave the links down below so that you guys can check it out. And then if you have still any questions, drop them down below and I will answer as best and as fast as I can. So this is the fastest available on the market right now. It is a great SSD. If you ask me, hey Robert, would you purchase that to make your computer to boot faster? Well, when we saw the Rocket 4, which was 5,000 megabytes per second, if you want to replace that one with this one, just to get more speed on your boot time, I would miss that because you will, in fact, get, but you will have to measure precisely on the millisecond barrier. But on the other hand, if you transfer a lot of files and huge files like videos and things like that, then it will make sense. For example, if you fill up uh, 32 gigs cards on your camera and you want to transfer files between that and you want to edit some videos and so on and so forth, if you are using one of these, for example, which I've got it right over here, I'll show you the real deal and not the case if the camera focus. Yeah, there we go. So if you have one of these 32 gigs will take roughly 4.5 seconds 4.5 seconds to transfer 7 gigs per second which is just just awesome now there are also two other awesome uh, products one of which is the rocket q4 this is also new lineup generation 4 and in terms of speeds i will show you right now on screen which we will get roughly just roughly 5000 megabytes per second on reads and 3600 and 20 megabytes per second on right so no chavi at all really really fast don't forget you need uh, the in my particular case what i used was the 11th generation uh, cpu i did test out on three motherboards one from asus rock one from asus and one from nzxt asus is a asus tough gaming b50 560 with a 11600 cpu on it and then the asus rock is using a 11700 uh, uh, cpu i7 and the nzxt uh, the same so it's a nzxt 500 z 590 you will need a slot nvme 4.0 to get advantage of these speeds now lastly we have the rocket q which is also one of the latest available from Sabrent and in terms of speeds here we go you will get roughly 3237 on reads and 3000 on writes megabytes per second so three gigs per second which is fast it's not seven fast but it's three <laughs> fast which is just awesome of course these are three different lineups three different prices three different targets so depending on where you are depending on what you want to do if you are going to take advantage of the fastest one or not then probably uh, you will have to well not probably you will have to decide for sure which one is the best for you because if you don't transfer files or big files and you don't mind waiting then probably this will be okay because it's cheaper and na -na -na. 
and if you are on a doubt then probably this will be your choice the rocket q4 if you are really a hardcore user and you edit videos and things like that and you want to transfer or photos a lot of photos and time lapses and things like that then this will be your choice actually i've got some things that i will share very soon in terms of external storage from uh, segment as well that will be in handy for those of you that edit on the go so on the go with really fast speeds now one of the things that i want to share and for that let's go for the sabrent website which is right over here um, is the duration of the ssds i do believe that on any brand and if you are on the market for an ssd this is something that you should have in mind not only the speeds because uh, this is something that i feel and the questions that i get on many brands that i do review items is a hey, that this one is faster and is cheaper be aware that there are several numbers that come into place and there is one in my opinion which is really important and that is the duration of the ssd now this duration that we will see right over here on the um, website from sabrent by the way i will leave some links down below where you can check prices and so on and so forth and you can also check out the uh, sabrent website which has a lot of information that i will not or, or we will be here for two hours and one of the most important in my opinion is the terabytes written and if we take a look here at the rocket 4 plus one terabyte two terabytes and four terabytes you will have all this information right over here maximal sequential read and write which is usually the numbers that would take more attention by the way i have the two terabyte model but i was not able to get exactly these numbers so i was uh, 6982 which is very close and 6600 and something let me just check 6512 so i was very very close and this depends also on our motherboard or something that was not tweaked here or there but this is not the most important number if we go here on the total terabytes this just means that the brand uh, warranties that this disk right over here um, on the one terabyte version will write at least 700 um, terabytes of data before it will start to lose its original performance on this particular case i've got the two terabytes so we are talking about 1400 terabytes this is a lifetime so have this in mind and if we look at the four terabytes which is not yet available i think not really sure right now uh, probably it's available already uh, and it has 3000 terabytes of data capacity before it will start to lose its uh, original performance and that's it it doesn't mean that it will immediately break after that number but just watch out for this number when you are on a market for an ssd because this and the speed tests and other factors price and so on and so forth will matter when you make the choice now once again we can take a look here at the q4 which is a great mid range in terms of same rate which sabrent is a top line brand in terms of quality in terms of speeds i haven't seen and i've shared this on the past i haven't seen one bad product from sabrent one poorly made product it's not on Sabrent. Forget about it. You will have to search for a any Chinese brand or something like that, that that sells very cheap. So this is a quality brand. Don't expect any less. And the prices are accordingly. That is it. Now, if we take a look at the Q4 in terms of terabytes written, you will see a difference. We will have 200 terabytes written on the one terabyte, 400 on the two terabytes, and 800 on the uh, four terabytes and if we look at the rocket Q, it has different capacities it will go from 500 uh, gigs to actually here it is 500 gigs to eight terabytes while the other two will go only up to four terabytes at this moment at least you will have the spec sheets and uh, the speeds that are already shared with you but uh, you will have right up here and then you will have all this and uh, the terabytes written starting at the 500 gigs 120 260 530 940 and 1800 so have this in mind other curiosity that i was answering on the portuguese channel but is a common question uh and you will see right over here klc nand flash um and uh, you will see that they have an example right over here 
which is just the difference uh, in terms of the memory layer. So you will see SLC, which is the single layer cell, and then multiple layer cell, triple layer cell, and quad layer cell. Yeah, the Rocket Q is a quad layer cell, and the Rocket Q4, no, it's a key LC as well, quad layer cell, and the Sabrent uh, plus, 4 Plus, Rocket 4 Plus, no, it's based on the TLC. Yeah, it seems that the uh, Rocket for it's based on TLC flash memory. What, but the other two states clearly, yeah, available soon. The other two states clearly that they are key LC and the, um, the, the Rocket 4 Plus, no, TLC. Probably that's one of the reasons that we will find 8 terabytes on the Q version and only four on this one not really sure but i will be happy to ask that question and get back to you uh, as soon as possible on the comments down below so guys this is it hopefully it was helpful in some way not only to show off the new um, ssds from sabrent but also to have in mind these uh, factors especially the terabytes written on any ssd before making your purchase and if it was useful don't forget that usual thumbs up right over here which is very appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one